Good morning, everyone, and thank you very much for joining me today for our webinar, uh, where we're really pleased to announce the launch of our Source of Funds questionnaire uh, within our third for ID and Source of Funds solution. Uh, my name's Tom Lees. Uh, I'm a key relationship manager here at Lawyer Checker, uh, and over the next 20 um, to 25 minutes, um, what I'm going to go through with you and the objective of today um, is to talk you through how uh, you can order the Source of Funds questionnaire through Third Four. We're going to look at what the client will complete in terms of this journey, and then we'll look at what you will receive back um, once the client has done their part, and how you can use that to help tackle some of the challenges that Source of Funds provides. Um, a couple of bits of housekeeping. Um, any questions, um, feel free to use the question box. Um, even though we probably won't have time at the end, I'll make sure that we come back to you personally with an answer to each question. Um, one of the common questions we get is, will we be able to have a copy of the recording? Uh, absolutely. Um, as soon as the webinar is done, uh, we will get this uploaded to our YouTube channel and you will all receive a, a copy of the recording uh, within your follow-up email. Um, so um, let's get started then. Um, so most of you are hopefully familiar now uh, with the launch of Third Fort through Lawyer Checker which has been live on our platform now for about five months or so. Um, Third Four is the latest in our innovative sort of suite of products that's designed to help tackle some of the challenges that law firms face around fraud and cybercrime. And we're really pleased to announce the launch of the Source of Funds questionnaire, which we think really complements the ID verification and the bank linking part, um, which is already a, a fundamental part of Third Four. Just as a brief recap, because I'm not going to go through the whole third fault solution, I want to make sure we really focus on the source of funds questionnaire this morning. Um, the third fault app um, that enables um, your client to verify their ID using facial recognition technology and the very best in document scanning technology called OnFido, and also allows your clients to use open banking in order for them to provide you with a really clear picture around their source of funds and hopefully make your life a lot easier in tackling some of the challenges we know that dealing with source of fund possesses. So the Source of Funds questionnaire is now available in the app. So we're going to have a look at that in a moment in terms of how you how you order it. In terms of um, what the Source of Funds questionnaire is really going to delve into and look at, we're also going to view that through the, the video. Um, it, it's really designed um, for fee earners to be able to use this to then interrogate the data that's coming from the open banking and the bank linking and to be able to satisfy that as a fee earner or as a law firm, you're happy with that client source of funds situation. You can see here on the left-hand side, um, the source of funds questionnaire will cover divorce settlements and um, gifts. I'll show you a really cool part of the, the gift system that enable as your client to give you permission to carry out a check on the person gifting the money. Um, obviously, any inheritance, we can take a picture of the grant of probate to sit alongside that, for instance, um, and it will really drill quite deep um, into if it's things like savings, which we all know is a very uh, generic phrase in terms of source of funds, and it, it can mean money is coming from, from lots of different areas, and it will really drill down into that for you um, to try and give you as, as much information as possible. Naturally, the beauty of the source of funds questionnaire is that your client is going to be doing this on the app. It only takes a few minutes for them to complete. It reduces the need for paperwork um, in terms of you guys having to send this separately, either at the initial stage of the transaction or quite often source of funds questionnaires do go out at a, at a slightly later date. And it's really designed to deal with all types of source of funds. So what I want to do now is show you how you would order this uh, from uh, the Lawyer Checker ordering platform. So um, I'm just going to play this sh short video, uh, which I'll talk you through as we go along. So you can see that when you log into Lawyer Checker, Third Fort sits on the right hand side. So you just click on perform search. And um, 
a couple of uh, other changes to mention since many of you uh, will have last seen third form is on this page just here. So obviously you enter the, the client name and the client's mobile number. Uh, when you click the little question mark, if you are sending uh, a text message to overseas, it will give you an idea of uh, how stable the text messaging route into that country is uh, and if there might be a problem with delivering the text. Um, we've also added uh, the case reference number to be added. Um, this is really useful for your accounts team when it comes to reconciling invoices. And then there you can see uh, the source of funds questionnaire button uh, has been added. Um, and all you'd need to do is tick that and then click submit. And for those of you that have seen third thought before, it's at that point the client will get the text message, which will prompt them to download the, the third thought application um, and begin their ID check. So if we just um, jump back into the, the presentation, um, that's how um, it's ordered. So really, really simple process for you guys. Um, we've also recently launched uh, an API. So those of you who use lawyer checker account and entity screen or consumer bank account checker will know that we have the ability to integrate. Um, we recently launched our integration document for third fort. So any of you who've gone through demo phase and are looking at integrating this, we can now do that. So you can integrate this ordering process into your uh, case management system. Um, so what I now want to do is show you the video and how the source of funds questionnaire looks. Um, so what I'm going to do is play the video. Uh, I'm going to pause it and talk about some of the different things that you'll see as we as we work our way through. So this is how the client will view the source of funds questionnaire. Uh, they'll actually click on the, the blue button. And they'll click on next. And then they'll enter the price of the property that they're buying, uh, along with the address of that property. So this all sits on your report. And you can see here on this page, um, it'll effectively really start to drill into how is this purchase being funded. So almost on a countdown basis. So we've got 450,000 unaccounted funds here. Naturally, um, the most popular option is going to be mortgage. So this will be the one that people will complete first. So during this, they can select the mortgage amount and the name of their lender. And then it's going to give them the, the value left um, that they need to account for. So let's take a look at the savings one first of all. We confirm the total amount saved, and then we're going to then drill down into some really specific questions um, with regards to their income and potentially the different sources of income that they could have that create savings, i.e. from uh, rental income, dividends, interest, trust benefits. You see the first bit focus very much on employee salary. Um, it will ask if anybody else is contributing any money um, that they're also buying with. And then um, where I think the source of funds tool is really valuable um, is with regards to, to gifting. So here you can see they confirm the amount being gifted, uh, the name of the person providing that gift and their mobile number and their relationship to you. And also whether that's a repayable gift or not, because it's really important for you guys to know that. Um, and then it will take them through to this little option here. So it, you'll see it, it reads, your lawyer is likely to need to verify this gift and confirm the identity of the person who is given the gift. The easiest way to do this is via the app. Are you happy for your lawyer to contact the person giving the gift? Obviously, if you if the client kicks, clicks yes, that really does make the next step a lot more straightforward for you um, in terms of um, being able to initiate the appropriate check here. Uh, Another one to take a look at is, let's say it's inheritance. So the money is coming from some inheritance. You ask some questions that relate to that. So you can then obviously interrogate the bank linking report, which I'll remind you of all in a moment. And um, if it is inheritance and there's a grant of probate, for instance, they can also take a picture and upload um, a copy uh, of the grant of probate in the upload documents section of the app. And um, we've found that's quite useful for inheritance. 
and then they will just finish that by e-signing uh, the actual questionnaire and that will be um, the source of funds report completed. That will be returned to you um, in the shape of uh, a PDF. So if you initiate a third fort check and that third fort check uh, includes the source of funds questionnaire, you will receive two specific PDFs. So you will receive this one here, which is the exact source of funds questionnaire report. So you'll see all the data that was inputted there is included in here. So the price of the property that's being purchased, the address, and then it's giving you all that information that the, the client has completed in the in the app um, for you to then be able to look at this information and cross reference that against the open banking um, report. So those of you who've watched our previous demos of Third Four or have seen Third Four in action via a face-to-face -face demo um, will be familiar with this example report that's on the screen now, um, which is where the bank linking is included uh, normally on the third page. So if we take a look at that, um, in this example, um, the client using open banking has linked up two bank accounts. Uh, they're a Lloyds Bank and a Barclays Bank. It will tell you obviously the name of the owners that belong on that account, the type of account it is. So whether it's transactional or a savings account, the account number and sort code uh, and the balance within that account at any one point. Um, what it will then do is it will put the top 20 incoming transactions and top 20 outgoing transactions over the previous 12 months into value order for you. So you're going to be using that source of funds questionnaire um, to be able to interrogate this data and to make sure what the client is telling you is correct in terms of what is in their bank statements. And obviously the beauty of third four is that the client has done the legwork for you you're not having to go through pages upon pages of bank statements and also remember a lot of people don't get paper bank statements anymore so they either have to print them out not everybody owns a printer um, or they have to go to the bank and get those statements so um, one of the underlying features of third foot is all about improving the customer journey which i think is, is what that really links to there. So you're going to be interrogating this data with the source of funds report. Um, and one of the things we've also added in the third full report is full statements going back three months. So you'll be able to see full statements underneath this, as well as the top 20 incoming, and top 20 outgoing transactions over the last 12 months. And at this point, you're obviously looking for things like pictures and patterns, and you're using um, that data uh, that has come from the source of funds questionnaire um, to be able to um, satisfy your demands that ultimately you're happy um, that you've been able to prove that the, the client's money is coming from a, a genuine and true source. So just linking back into the the presentation and um, that's really the the summary of what the client does and obviously what you guys get back um in terms of the the report um and in terms of how that journey works and hopefully you'll see that's a really straightforward journey and um, this has been live on the third four um ordering platform on lawyer checker for a about two weeks now and um, see some really exciting feedback um, in terms of how this is already working and lots of the responses have, have been really really positive and I think from a lawyer checker perspective we know from talking to our clients that everybody knows that source of funds is a challenge and although there's no magic ingredient that's going to remove that challenge i.e if someone's buying a property and six people are giving them a gift that's always going to be a, a, a problem um, and that's always going to take some time to deal with but hopefully that the beauty of this is you'll be able to see there's a really improved customer experience from a fee earner perspective it should make being able to satisfy your source of funds queries and demands a lot easier 
and it should save you some time in, in doing this process. And it's also a lot more robust way if they lose using um, open banking. Um, I'm sure some of you will be aware um, of how easy it is in this day and age to forge bank statements. Uh, I would always revert you to a website called banknovelties.net, which you may have seen in a few of our previous webinars, where you can buy a fake bank statement for approximately 35 to 45 pounds. Um, so hopefully that has been useful in terms of updating you on the, the source of funds questionnaire. Um, the cost of third four is, is still the same. So it's £14.50 plus VAT. Um, and I suppose really there's two call to actions for you uh, from today's demo. Um, if you have not seen a full demo of third four, and you would like to book a demo with us, and you can book a demo in a team, so it could be your convincing team, or it could be a couple of you, or it could be an individual demo. Um, you just need to go to the following uh, link. Um, I do apologize, it, I've spelt it wrong. It should be www.calendly.com. Uh, let me just quickly uh, add that in there for you so you can all see it right when I leave it on your screen. Uh, there we go. So you should be able to see that properly now. So you can go there, uh, that will give you access to our diaries at Lawyer Checker, and you can book a demo uh, for a time that's convenient for yourselves. Alternatively, if you've already seen the demo and having seen a source of funds questionnaire, you would now like to go ahead and start using Lawyer Checker uh, and using Third Fort, um, then um, drop me an email or give me a call uh, on my contact details below. And what we will do is then enroll you into our customer success program. So any law firm that decides to use Third Fort through Lawyer Checker automatically goes through a very bespoke customer success journey. So included within this is we will share best practice with you to ensure that um, you're doing the check at the right point to get the, the best results out of third form. We can share best practice about how um, best to get this to work for the different demands of your own businesses. And um, we'll make sure you've got the appropriate collateral from us. So wording for costing in client care letters as a professional charge. And make sure you've got some really key collateral that preempts the client and explains to the client what they're going to be doing with regards to third form and answers some of the why questions. Uh, we also have an onboarding uh, training as part of our customer success as well. So each of your users within your law firm will be individually trained uh, upon Lawyer Checker. And third four, um, to, to make sure that um, this is really embedded into the culture of your business, as ultimately, I um, appreciate this is a big step for you, um, and we want to help you get it right. Um, so if you want to kickstart that customer success program with us, um, please do drop me a line and I will um, point you in the right direction and, and get you enrolled on that. Um, I said we'd be about 20 minutes, uh, a couple of minutes short. Um, so um, that's always good that we're running on time. So um, thank you very much um, for joining us today. Um, I see we've got a couple of questions that have been submitted. Um, I will uh, make sure uh, that these questions are answered um, personally um, at the end of the end of the webinar. Um, and we'll come back to you on them today. Um, thank you very much for your time and for joining us today, everybody. Uh, have a great afternoon and speak to you all soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.